Okay, this is our, um, our survey of the distal nerve distributions um, in the forearm and at the wrist. So we will be looking for um, signs of irritability um, for median nerve, uh, ulnar nerve, and radial nerve at the, uh, at the wrist and in the forearm. So um, we'll start out and just do a, a palpation. It's like walking your fingers down. So I am on the ulnar side or the small finger side of the forearm. So this would be ulnar nerve distribution. That ulnar nerve lies just beneath the flexor carpi ulnaris all the way down um, the forearm. And then I can palpate over the flexor mass here for median nerve symptoms. And then the dorsolateral mass here for radial nerve symptoms. So we would be looking for the client to tell us um, usually achy pain um, that would be consistent with where we're palpating that nerve distribution. If the client re reports referred pain down into the hand or uh, if they report numbness or tingling, I would still count that as a positive test. So then when we do our tenels, um, we want to start at the wrist. Uh, sometimes you will provoke symptoms and the patient cannot return to baseline. In other words, they'll get an achy pain that does not subside or they'll get some numbness and tingling that they can't shake off and won't subside. And at that point, the ball game's over because you would get um, potentially false positive for everything else that you tested after that. So always start um, at the wrist. And I usually thump um, not just right on the um, flexor retinaculum or the um, transverse carpal ligament, but usually over, you know, above and below the wrist crease. Um, and so I, uh, with the client, I'll start out tapping really light and watch their face and then go progressively uh, a harder tap because uh, you don't want to set them off if they're super hyper irritable and you can tell that with a light tap. There's no need to cause them unnecessary discomfort. Um, so here, of course, in this area, you're looking for median nerve symptoms, um, usually these radial digits. Then you can come over here and do tenels for the ulnar nerve. And here um, at the base of the thumb for the sensory branch of the radial nerve or the dorsal sensory radial nerve. Uh, for some clients, uh, you have to come a little bit kind of off to the volar surface here. Okay, so that's for radial nerve symptoms. Then we'll go um, up into the forearm. So ulnar nerve we can do tenels all the way down the distribution. Now a lot of times clients um, will not sense anything until you get pretty close to the wrist, uh, in which case I'm going to record that as um, you know, positive provocation at the wrist, not in the forearm if I'm already you know, more than halfway down. For the median nerve, you kind of want to rotate the hand and you can kind of feel that drop off um, where you're kind of off to the side of that flexor group and um, a little bit closer to, to getting that pronator. And you do a tap like this, and that would be for um, median nerve or for you know pronator, um, pronator syndrome. Now, for radial nerve here, it's not really a tenels. And to look for, um, for the lateral um, epicondyle. And then you're gonna come uh, down and kind of forward about an inch and a half or so and just press that that spot I mean you can kind of play up and down but usually right about there and um, they'll experience some significant discomfort or achy pain there and that would be a positive sign for that radial nerve um, then of course you can go on up for ulnar nerve um, sometimes you'll get a finding of tenderness to palpation uh, you just had a jump there um, tenderness to palpation uh, to the medial distal triceps, um, and then here, you know, of course, your, your cubital tunnel. Um, you can tap. And again, um, that one is very close to the surface. Um, I mean, if you hit anybody hard enough, of course, you know, we'll get a positive response there because we've all had the funny bone sensation. So again, I would start really light and then maybe um, progressively tap a little uh, harder. And again, you can uh, get uh, numbness or tingling any, anywhere, anywhere down this ulnar distribution uh, or into the, the fingers here, uh, achy pain or uh, numbness, tingling, any of those would be a positive finding.